Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the mean, variance, and the standard deviation for this given grouped data with these following scores and their corresponding frequencies. And here in the very first step, we are going to calculate the mean. And here I have wrote down our uh, group data scores right up here. And now in the next column, we are going to calculate the midpoint, which is called an X, between these points, between 40 and 45. Let me show you how to do this one. To find the midpoint of these 40 and 45, just write them down, 40 plus 45, and always divided by 2, that is going to give us 85 divided by 2, equals to 42.5. Let's write it down, 42.5. To get the midpoint between these two points, let's add them up and divide by 2, and we are going to get 36.5. And if we find the midpoint between these two points, add them up and divide by 2, that's going to be 30.5. Likewise, that's going to be 24.5, 18.5, and 12.5. And here are the frequencies that I've just copied down from our original equation from here. And now in the next column, we are going to multiply the frequency f with uh, midpoint x. Let's go ahead and multiply. Frequency is 3 times 42.5. If we multiply these two, we are going to get 127.5. And if we multiply 1 times 36.5, that's going to give us 36.5. And the next one is going to give us 122. This is going to be 122.5. This is going to be 37. And here it is going to be 62.5. And now we are going to add up all these values in this fourth column. If we add them up, I am going to use sigma notation. Sigma of f of x equals to if I add these values that is going to give us 508. Once again this notation is called sigma which really means sum or sometimes we call it addition. And one more thing if we look at these frequency column we are going to add these value up as well so we can use sigma of f equals to simply 20 and here is our final product i have nicely filled out these value in this table and now finally you we can uh, calculate the mean that is represented by x bar so x bar equals to this formula so this on the numerator sigma of f of x we already calculated that one that is 508 divided by sigma of f in our case is 20 and if we divide this one that is going to give us 25.4 Thus, our mean turns out to be 25.4. And now in our step 2, we are going to calculate the variance. And from our previous steps, we know the score values, the midpoint x, and the frequencies, as you can see over here. And in our next column, this is for mean x bar. We're going to fill it in and from the previous step, we figured out the mean equals to 25.4. Let me just write it down over here, 25.4 
across the board 25.4 and now in the next column we are going to find the difference between x and x bar x minus x bar let's go ahead and do this one this is our x value and this is our x bar we're going to subtract this one it is going to give us if we subtract 17.1 and if we subtract this minus this value that is going to give us 11.1 likewise so we're going to get 5.1 negative 0 0.9 negative 6.9 and finally negative 12.9 and finally in this next column we are going to square these values that we figured out in our previous column if we square these one we are going to get 292.41 one 23.21 26.01 0.81 47.61 and finally 166.41 and now in the next column we are going to multiply the frequency f times x minus x bar square that means we're going to be multiplying these columns this frequency column and this square column okay let's multiply these numbers three times 292.41 we are going to get we have to be very careful with these calculations now 877.23 likewise if we multiply the next numbers we're going to get 123.21 zero four the next one is going to be four point zero five and next one is going to be ninety five point two two and finally that is going to be eight thirty two point zero five and now in the next step we are going to add up all these values in this column so when we add them we're gonna use the sigma notation over here this is gonna be f times x minus x bar square equals to that is gonna be two zero three five point eight and likewise we're going to be adding these frequency values as well so we're going to say sigma of f equals to 20 and here is our final product i have just put down these number in a nicer way and now we'll be able to calculate the variance by using this formula and one thing just keep in your mind that we will be using this data as a sample okay just keep in your mind so the variance let's go ahead and calculate variance equals to on the numerator this thing you can see is same as this quantity let's put it down so that is 2035.8 divided by we have a sigma of f in our case is 20 you write down 20 and then minus 1 let's simplify this one 2035.8 divided by 19 
and that is going to give us 107.15 so thus our variance turns out to be 107.15 and finally in our step 3 we are going to calculate the standard deviation and here is the formula that we will be using standard deviation is always equal to the square root of the variance and here is the variance formula over here and this once again is the sample data set and here's the variance value that we figured out in our previous step which is 107.15 we're going to take the square root of that one to find the standard deviation. And if we take the square root, that's going to be 10.35. So that is our standard deviation. So thus our standard deviation turns out to be a 10.35 and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.